Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're talking about Core, which is a alpha game engine for Manticore games. And this is a game engine which is also a game. I guess the closest thing I could think of is like Roblox or Second Life. It is uh, built on top of the Unreal Engine, but it provides all of the tools and templates, scripting language, and everything else you need to create your own game. Uh, as I mentioned, covered it back in April when it first opened up in Alpha. And today we are talking about Core for a different reason, and that is because you can now make money using Core. Now, I already did a bit of a hands-on with Core, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details. I will show you it really briefly. I'll so if you want to check it out, it is available at coregames.com. It is completely free uh, to go ahead and get in there. And later on, we'll talk about how you can now monetize your creations. Again, it is in alpha, so do keep that in mind. But here we are in core itself. As I mentioned, the technology itself is built on top of Unreal Engine, but it's designed to make your life as easy as possible. You can do custom loading and you can save out your resources, etc. You can program things using Lua. The only thing you really can't do is bring in your own assets. You can build your own assets using their built-in content creation tools, which I showcase in the other video, uh, but you can't really create your own thing in something like Blender or um, you know, Max or Maya or anything like that. You're kind of stuck with what they give you. Fortunately, they give you quite a bit. So here you can see one of the 3D models. I've populated a simple world with it. Now let's say we want to add in a sky, drop in the sci-fi sky. There you go. So let's say instead we wanted to have a moon and so on. So you can bring in and drop in and create things like this. Here's your uh, worldview over here. You're kind of stuck to what they provided for you, but there are a lot of things in here. So see here, you could start basically kit bashing your level. So you've got things like arches, you could build in those arches, and then you could build up the various different pieces to go together. Say we want to bring in a carpet for our floor. Let's bring in a candle holder. So you start populating the world, but as you can see, a lot of these things are um, kind of built for being uh, made into other stuff. So for example, you can take a cone and then we could add something on top of our cone. You got snapping tools to handle all these things. And basically you can start creating compound objects. And behind the scenes, their logic will pull those things together and um, you know make it into an efficient mesh for you. So you start working with their built-in primitives. As you can see, there's already quite a few of them. So if you want to do a fantasy setting, we've got all of the pieces you need to start building uh, walls and you've got snapping tools that are not currently working right. So you can start building your castle really quickly. we got curved walls and so on. So there you see, you can start building up your level in the world using their built-in assets. And then uh, we've got all kinds of other things here. We've got things like audio tools for uh, you want to put some actual sound effects into the world. I have sound muted at this point, so you're not going to hear anything. But we've got things like background sounds, uh, fantasy sounds, a whole bunch of different, a giant library of resources to work with your game. And as time goes on, they keep releasing more and more packs. So I got decals that I can put on my level. So you see how we can really customize things and get things going quickly. So you don't have to be an expert at any level to actually start getting in there and creating your games. We also got, again, special effects that we can drop into the world. I have no idea what that one actually did. So that's Let's go ahead and see. I think I actually have to turn something on. Uh, so let's play our level. And there you can see the wonderful level that we just created. Cancel out. And then when you're done, you can publish your game up to their servers. And you got a ton of different things here. You got post-processing effects. So if you want to do a line-based drawing thing, there you go. We now have uh, that post-processing effect in action. There's a ton of functionality in here. Uh, we've got various different dropped-in predefined game components. So if I wanted to give my guy a submachine gun, I could just create one, drop it into the world. We've got predefined things like cameras. Uh, we've got uh, objects in here, so equipment, physics, triggers, and so on. And as I mentioned earlier on, you can actually code things using Lua. At the very beginning, things start out, you can pick from a, several different kinds of games, uh, first-person shooters, third-person shooter, top-down, deathmatch, that kind of stuff. And then you just kind to go from there. So that is a little bit of a quick look at what Core is all about and drop out of there. Here is the uh, the interface here where I went ahead and created my project. So again, I could create a new project using a framework and here are all the various different kinds of things you could create. So we've got third person, empty, deathmatch, team deathmatch, uh, battle royale, last man standing, uh, last team standing, and a gun game, capture and hold, king of the hill, assault, capture the flag, um, and capture the flag with a single flag. So you've got predefined template type games that you can go ahead and create. Uh, obviously, you've got your project management in here. At the same time, you can also pull in from community projects. There's a ton of things that people, other people share that you can work from uh, there. At the same time, if I was back in my game, I can pull in customized objects that other people have created, and we can go from there. Uh, on top of that, and this is where they're ultimately trying to promote right now, 
This is a collection of games that have been made by the community, and this is how you're ultimately going to be able to make money, potentially. So you see here, we've got some that were made by Manticore Games, and then we've got some made by the community. I'm just going to pick one at random. Uh, this is Farmer's Market. We'll go ahead, grow crops, and sell them at the dynamically priced market. Upgrade your barn, find items, and use metal detector, and do fishing. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll load it up. This is going to go ahead and grab all the resources from their server, load the assets, find a server to join, join the game, and we should be there in just a second. My default avatar, by the way, is this skeleton so if you're wondering why that is there uh that is why so you can see here they've obviously uh used a filter for their art style you can get quite a few different kind of art styles going on you can see the uh, commands are all labeled down the side so you can do a, a heads up display and we can just kind of run around in this world and do stuff so this is one of the examples of what the community make you can actually do quite a bit with this guy i think we're going to have feedback via these signs that are available i'm just going to yeah, here we go. So we can go ahead and buy. So there, I just used the interface. So this is all being scripted using their built-in um, uh, user interface technology and their uh, Lua scripting and everything else. So it gives you an idea of the kind of capabilities of what you can do using uh, the core engine. So that is it. I'm just going to exit out of that. So earlier on, I said something about money, right? Well, let's get back to that topic. Now, I'm going from a preview version of this document. Now, there's going to probably be, uh, as this comes out of embargo in a couple of minutes, there's going to be probably a formalized version of this, but this kind of gives you the gist of what the payout pilot program is all about. Out. So it's uh, centered around one simple concept. More people that play your game, the more you should get paid. Each calendar month, creators in the program can receive $3 per average daily player. Uh, this will be calculated by taking the daily number of unique users who log into your game and averaging them across that month. That means if you have 500 unique users logging into your game each day, they do not need to be the same players. You could receive $1,500 after the end of the month. If you average 1,000 users, you could receive three grand. If you average 10,000, well, you get the idea. We chose this system because we wanted creators to be unified in the mission of making fun games and bringing new players into core. Uh, you don't need to manage subscriptions or design a vast catalog of microtransactions. Instead, the only thing you need to do is focus on making great games that attract and retain players. The more players you and your fellow creators bring in, the more money you could make. Uh, and then we get how to join. Creator um, payout pilot program starts today with 100 spots, of which we have already invited nearly half. We chose the first group based off of dedication to the core platform. That means alpha testers, uh, people that won previous contests, impressive newcomers. Uh, so that's where they got the first half in. The other half is available. So it looks like there's about 50 spots in there where you could start making money. Um, and there are going to be other ways to make money, including uh, player to creator memberships, direct donations, revenue sharing. Features will mark a major change in how creators can make a living uh, through games, uh, but one thing will remain the same. Success comes from creating fun games and passionate communities. Like I said, that's an interesting concept. Basically, they're giving you the tools to go ahead and create games. The rest is really going to come down to how much content they keep going and how good the community forms around this. You give people creative tools and good, useful tools, and people are going to be able to do amazing things. We've been proven that time and time again. I guess Minecraft really showed us the way. Uh, there have been tools like Second Life out there, and it's nice to see that they're going after monetization options right off the hop. So this actually could turn into a viable way for an indie to make money. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see ultimately where it goes. Again, if you are interested in checking it out, it is available at coregames.com. I'm going to assume that the formal press release has come out by the time I actually release this. So in that case, check the link in the linked article down below for the most current version of the, or the final version of the release details. But this does give you an idea of the kind of work you can do in Core. It's going to be interesting if this does turn into a successful commercial platform. Uh, but the fact that it is commercialized from day one is interesting. Uh, it really kind of comes down to if they figure out a revenue model on their back end as well, but that's their thing to figure out in the meantime. So it looks like there's about 50 slots available. Uh, the tools are really nice to work with. It is fun to work with Core. I will say that straight out. You can get in there and do some pretty complicated things as I showed you from the Lua in the other video, sadly not in this one. You can do uh, quite a bit with Core. Uh, it's just the real only limitation is you can't bring in your own assets. Everything is going to basically be kit bashed, but they do add more and more primitives and they do have some examples of how to create things like say a weapon completely using primitives. Uh, so um, it's really limited by your imagination and the tools do keep get better and better and better. And now again, we have this uh, million dollar early access uh, elf uh, money making option out there. Let me know if you're interested in this concept. All right, that is it. I will talk to you all later.